Hello everyone and welcome to 2 Minute Info. In today's video, this is also a follow up on our project on Scratch. So, in the part 1, we explored the if then block. In the second part, we explored if then else. And in this part, we are just going to be summing it all up. So, this is the part 3. And in this video, we're going to be fixing the mistake. First, let me just tell you the project once more, which was if I'm pressing the spacebar, then I want the scratch cat to move forward 10 steps. If I'm not, then I want it to move backwards. Okay. Also, if you haven't watched the part one or two, the link will be in the description box below. You might want to go and check it out. So, if you want to still try it by yourself, you can try it. Go ahead and try it. But if you wanna, if you're here to see the solution to it, then let's begin. So, to start this off, we're going to be introducing a new block. Let's go in control, and let's see this beautiful block right here, which is the forever block. This is a loop block. So with this block, you can loop something up. As it says forever, it will go on forever and ever. Okay, let's snap this in. Okay, that won't do anything. Let's take it out and snap it on top of all of this. Also remember, you can't snap any block below the forever loop. So, this is what we've got so far. What this code says is that if keep a space pressed, then move 10 steps, the scratch cat will move 10 steps, else if the space bar is not pressed, then move minus 10, which will be backwards. Also, as this is in a forever loop, it will go on forever and ever. So, before you watch how it looks like after doing the forever block, what do you think will happen? Okay, keep that at the back of your mind. And let's run this and let's see what will happen. Okay, go. Okay, let's press the space bar now. I'm still pressing it just to tell you. Wow, now we can move it like this and this is like a little animation. Okay. Let's stop it and bring this cat, cat scratch cat in the middle. There we go. One more thing to remember. When it goes to the edge, it stops because you don't want the scratch cat to be out of the screen. So, is this what we wanted for the project? Yes. Our project was to move it forward when the space bar is clicked, and if it's not, then I want it to move backwards. You can play around with it a bit more and maybe add some sound effects if you like. I can do another video like this. I can do a video on sound effects if you would like to know how we can put sound effects. Comment down below if you would and I'll see you in the next videos. This is also a sum up to our project. So hope you enjoyed this project. Hope yours turned out good as well. Okay, see you again. Bye bye.